Redick here with another video tutorial. This one is, is going to be all about uh, navigation, how to get from one airport to the other. I'm not sure what all I'm going to cover in this one, but I'm hoping. But I'm going to go on a short demo flight from uh, um, Los Angeles to San Francisco International. And um, I'm going to see how that goes. Um, so, yeah, let's get to that. First thing you're going to want is uh, you're going to need to have some data. And I like to go on Flight Aware for that. So. Go to floydaware.com. Pilot resources. And scroll down to recently used IFR routes. Put in your origin destination airport just as it prompts you. So KLEX, KSFO, it's not case sensitive. So just go ahead and do that. Find flights. And now we have, that's our standard instrument departure. This is our way onto Jetway 50, J501. And this is our transition onto the Big Sur arrival, which is, which is our standard terminal arrival procedure. So, yeah. Um, now I want to know how far it is from the from KLAX to KSFO to better judge what flight level or altitude we should cruise at, since we are given a pretty broad range here for the highest frequency one. The preferred is. So anywhere between 20,000 and 38,000 feet. So for that, I use Google Earth. And it's going to be a little slow because of the recording. Well, that was way off. Okay, there we go. E. And that is not KLAX there, I don't think. There's Santa Monica. There's KLAX. Then just take your ruler, make sure that's in nautical miles. If you don't have Google Earth, you can find um, a way to calculate distance, another way to calculate distance. I'll show that as well. But I prefer Google Earth because that works for, it's, it's quick. Now here's how you decide cruising altitude. It's 293 nautical miles away, so let's just round that up to 300 at two zeros, 30,000 feet. So you want to cruise at 30,000 feet. Now we don't need Google Earth anymore. And westbound flights generally have an even number value for altitude, whereas eastbound has an odd number. So 30,000 feet fits, otherwise we'd have to use 29,000 or 31,000, and in this case, the 29,000 would be more preferable, but since we're going westbound, we use 30,000. Weather is bad, so I'm going to have to set it on fair weather to get this to work without crashing. Um, next, we go to airnav.com.
click on airports and then I'm going to want to duplicate this tab since you need for both airports so I want KL uh, LEX copy typing I'm sorry and KSFL then you want to scroll down from the departure procedure VTU 5 which one? Ventura 5 and then hopefully that's going to load correctly now ideally you would also want the airport diagram over here because chances are you'd be starting at a parking position if you're doing a realistic flight but I don't have a joystick so I'm not going to bother with taxiing so let's get back to where I was